that I wanted to tell, especially to the beginners, is don't get too excited when you when you see fish. What I mean by that, you have to be prepared for every single uh, single dive. With time, you will recognize uh, which kind of fish will wait for you, and when you just have to go down. Generally, the pelagics will always be around, so you can take as as much time as you need and go safely down. A red bass sometimes will just go deep and will not come back so this is something you have to, to keep in mind so it's better to get prepared somewhere in the shallows and then when we rod already made few shorter dives and you are ready to do a serious normal dive then you get to the reef and then in case you have to go down immediately you are already ready you go down and that's it be careful how long is the interval between your dives so you have to recover enough usually people tend to go me included go down too often when there is a lot of fish and this is a, a mistake because it's better to wait two more minutes in the surface but then do a proper longer dive that will uh, actually allow you to catch the fish not just going up and uh, down that's it the rest you will you will learn let's go wait let me show you the anchor this is the anchor Suda di sini? Yeah. Eto tempat tempat bobara besar. The water looks murky because there is no current. What? <laughs> well, we have to find the mud crab. I'm not able to see the tip of the gun. Eh? This is crazy. Ah, do. Maybe we can find a mud crab here, eh? Quite unlikely for a GT to get tangled in the corals, but this is exactly what happened here. So I had to secure the fish with the second shot. Usually it would take quite some time to get uh, the shafts out of the fish like this, but watch closely what happened next. I have two shafts and I manage to pull one out somehow. I'm giving it to a friend here and I'm stuck with another shaft, the more difficult one. But all at once, as you can see, the GT gets free. Yes, I got the fish, but this was pure luck.
Hello. This is how it's done here, the fishing. I'm going on the boat. fish so the, the dives were even deeper because with the current usually the, the fish comes uh, at least closer to the to the surface like I usually like to do if I have enough time I go three days in the sea and one day completely off without sea just eating and, and resting and this is this is the best way because if you do too many days in a row you just get uh, more and more tired and it will be not be as effective and it gets also more more dangerous. This is how it was today, but we will still eat the small fish that we get from the fishermen. I like more the small fish than the big one. Ha <laughs> 
This is the fish that we bought earlier from the fishermen here in front of the village. After we put the salt, we we'll add some oil with rosemary and garlic and marinate the 